Hi everyone, it's Lance from Denim and Leather and I'm here with Dave Menachetti from YNT. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So you're soon to play here at the Rock and Blues Custom Show. How right. are you looking forward to that? Oh, I'm already looking forward to it. Just looking at all these people out here, they look like they're fired up. <laughs> it's going to be a madhouse. <laughs> So you've been going since the 1970s and you've yeah. had great success here in the UK, yeah. but did you think back then that after all these years you'd still be headlining festivals here in the UK? No, not, not, a, not a chance. You know, I mean, uh, in the 80s we, we were, you know, making a real impact here and um, we always just kind of thought months in advance maybe maybe weeks in advance you know you know i hope we get this tour this year or something like that um but never you know what are we going to do five years from now ten years from now there, there was never a prospect of that in our mind <laughs> so we were sorry to hear um your guitarist john Nine right. couldn't be here due to right. illness we wish him a yes. recovery all right but, absolutely yes um how have you had to approach playing these shows without him well, because John uh, is is one of our, besides being rhythm guitar, he's also one of our main background vocalists. We have to look at all the songs on the set list that we were to play uh, and try to figure out what we probably shouldn't do without his integral part because he sings right below me and I'm usually singing higher than any of the guys in the band. So, so his next part down is the primary harmony part of almost every song we do. So um, there's certain songs that it's just not going to be right without them. So we'll, you know, I mean, there's some of them we'll, we'll get by and the, the harmony that's missing won't be that critical, but, you know. So that's the type of thing that we're, we're doing. We're, we're figuring out what songs we can't play and what songs we can play. And then on top of that, uh, we have a friend that came out to, to play a few guitars, you know, a couple of songs on guitar to help us out. Uh, on a few things like a ballad uh, or something like that where it's nice to have that extra texture but uh, it's we're just playing it by ear really <laughs> we'll see what happens <laughs> did you ever consider having to cancel some of the shows you're doing never yeah I mean you know if, if it's if there's good reason for it I mean if, if obviously if I'm sick a lead singer the lead guitar player I mean there's nothing we can do but I've played sick my entire career on and off you know I mean different times and uh, probably the worst it ever was was uh, a night that we played in, in Newcastle and uh, in fact it was so bad that uh, the doctor had seen me and said you shouldn't be doing anything you have a, a extremely high fever and uh, and I couldn't even talk I, so I, I couldn't even get a, a sound out of my voice backstage and I'm like I don't know what I'm gonna do and we just went up there and played an hour and a half and the crowd I tried to sing and the crowd sang with me the whole way and it was so awesome but uh, the only time I've ever actually canceled a show I think it's happened twice is when um, uh, I had a viral infection and my voice was completely gone and there was no way out of doing it I mean there was it, it, it was yeah. but most of the time I just play when I'm sick that's <laughs> just the way it is you know so you're quite unusual because obviously you're a great lead guitarist and also a great vocalist, but which came first for you? Really guitar first, yeah. I mean, I always thought of myself as a guitar player and only a guitar player. And then when I got in the band with these guys, well, with the original four, I should say, um, it was uh, it was kind of like all of us sang and nobody knew for sure who was going to be a lead singer or anything we all figured out oh, well you know I'll sing some songs you can sing some songs and then after we started writing more and more tunes and started playing out more it just sort of became more apparent that my voice was was becoming more the stronger voice of, of the bunch and so most of the songs started coming my way and then eventually it just you know all completely went that way so and strangely enough and and this is kind of an odd thing it's probably for some people to, to grasp because it even was for me is I, I should say I'm a, I'm a late bloomer in as far as singing goes um, I probably sang the first five records of our career not knowing what the hell I was doing but just doing it and uh, and then I finally took it you know and said what are you doing Dave you are the lead singer you've got to really concentrate and try to be the best you can be and ever since then like the sixth record on it just got 
so much better and it's miles better you know 10 20 even now you know i think i probably is a, I'm a better singer than i was you know when we first started out for sure uh, so you know it's I, i'm proud to say that i'm a singer you know and it's just, so it's 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 both for me you know i love lead guitar and i love lead singing they're both very passionate things you know that where you get to you know really put your heart and soul into it and uh, and so i get I get those moments all over the place on stage, so it's great. So you've had a busy weekend of festivals, but right. what else is lined up for YNT this year? Well, uh, after we go home from this, which actually we're, 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 we're in the plane at home tomorrow, um, and home for us is uh, Northern California, uh, sort of San Francisco Bay Area, which is a large area there. And uh, uh, in five days, uh, or six days, I guess, this is Saturday, right? <laughs> yeah, we play Friday. We play a big festival outside that we headline each year, and uh, it's 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 cool. It's it's ten thousand people, and it's on the beach, and uh, it's just it's just fun. We'll be doing that, and then we have uh, three shows, two to three shows every weekend after that for the rest of August, all up and down the West Coast. And uh, we'll think of one or two, two into, into September, and then we get back on a jet, come back over here, and we do two months of a European and UK tour uh, as a headliner, which we do every fall. So lastly, do you have a message for your fans? Absolutely. Number one, uh, honestly, I know everybody says this, but really Y&T have got to have some of the most incredible fans. Uh, our fan base has been with us, many of them, since the very beginning, since the 70s. Some have just gotten, you know, to us in, just in the last year or two. It doesn't really matter to us. It's just that um, they are a loyal bunch, and, and I love you all, really. It's, and, and that's the whole reason why we keep playing is because, uh, you know, you inspire us, and we keep going because of that. Cheers. Well, thank you so much you for bet. chatting. Thanks. Make sure you check out YNT and come back to Denim and Blather for more. Bye. Bye.